monitor that situation and we will bring you highlights or jump in as warranted. In the meantime, Delaware Democrat Senator Ted Kaufman, of course, sits on both the Judiciary Committee and the Armed Services Committees. And he's the only Democrat who's going to get to question both Petraeus and Kagan. And he joins us now, by the way, the only Republican that gets to do the same, South Carolina's Lindsey Graham. So, Senator, thanks for being on. Hey, Chuck. And I know you got to be... I know you got to be very quick here. Yeah. Did you hear anything from Elena Kagan yesterday that is a concern to you? No. Well, I really didn't. Work. I mean, I think it's a pretty much when is, you know, her speech is it's standard. I mean, you by this time in this process, they picked over every possible thing you pick over, which is the right way to do it. So, yeah, I would be. I would. The biggest surprise for me yesterday is if I heard something from her that I that I hadn't heard before. Senator Kaufman, as, as you well know, uh, Elena Kagan has been our Solicitor General litigating right. cases on behalf of the United States. She was in private practice. I misspoke yesterday, so I want to mention that. But we heard Senator Cole, your Democratic colleague, say yeah. that she has a, a, that they have less evidence about what sort of judge she will be than any right. nominee in recent memory, and that her judicial philosophy is almost invisible yeah. to us. That's really not yeah. a, a swipe at her experience, but just the fact right. that you can't look at a paper trail and really right. discern what she's about. So how do you yeah. plan to uh, get at that issue? Oh, I, I think that I, I think we get at just the way we should. Listen, I said right from the beginning, I said when uh, President Obama called me on the Sotomayor nomination, on her nomination, I thought it'd be good if we picked a non-judge, and, and, and the president did pick a non-judge. So the fact that we don't have a judicial record, but look at the court the way it is now. We have nine circuit court of appeal judges, and I was involved in all their nominations working for uh, then-Senator Biden. So I think it's good we have somebody without a judicial record. I think it's, we, ha we need uh, broad representation on the court that really makes the decision. The technocrats, you need to be at the circuit court and below, but the Supreme Court should be general. So first off, I think it's good that they picked someone that didn't have a judicial record, but there's plenty of record for Elena Kagan. The one positive thing is she's probably the only judge in recent history or ever that served in all three branches of government. She worked mm -hmm. both at the, right. in the Clinton administration mm -hmm. and she worked with me and Senator Biden uh, on the Judiciary Committee on the Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So I think there's plenty to, to look through to see what right. she's going to do and what she's going to be about. Senator, do you, I want to move to the uh, Petraeus confirmation sure. hearing now. Do you believe that uh, you, as somebody very close to Vice President Biden, I, yeah. I figure you're very intimate on this knowledge, but do you believe yeah. that you have a, that you understand what the July 2011 timeline is, number one, and number two, okay. do you believe that the president needs to be clearer on what the July 2011 timeline means? I'd say no to both. Uh, I questioned General Petraeus when he was up uh, uh, previously, just giving a report on what's going to Iraq when he was up with uh, Under Secretary Flournoy, and I said to him specifically, uh, General Petraeus, it's clear that this December we're going to make a major decision about where we are in Iraq and, he's, and, and Afghanistan. He said, absolutely. I said, and we're clear that in July of next year we're going to draw down the troops. And he said, yes, I said. The point is, because uh, several senators have made it, that conditions on the ground. But conditions on the ground only apply to how many troops are going to draw down. Now, I don't know how many times you can say it. The president said it. Uh, the, the head of the Joint Chiefs, Mullins, has said it. Secretary Clinton has said it. Uh, Secretary Gates has said it. Petraeus said it last week. I'm sure Petraeus will say it, say it again. Uh, I, I don't know how you get any clearer about the fact that next July, we're making a decision. We're going to start drawing down the troops. There may be some troops. There may be more troops. And the, the, the conditions on the ground, the number of, uh, of Republican senators have raised, is conditions on the ground determine whether we take out one troop or, or, or 10,000 troops. So you believe one troop. You, you think that that means at least one troop will come out. In July no, I believe they, some, something will come out. But see, the, the key thing, Chuck, you know, I'm kind of old enough to have really been through the Vietnam War. And the one point I wanted to make was that we're not going to put any more troops in. That's the key decision, in my opinion. I got the uh, in the Foreign Relations Committee questioning uh, uh, the head of the Joint Chiefs Mullins and Secretary Clinton and Secretary Gates. I submit at each one of them. Now, we're absolutely clear on the first two points, December and July. And now I want to make clear a third point. Under no circumstance we'll be introducing more troops. And the mm. answer to that was yes. So All the key right. thing is the, the people that say, you know, we, are in a, we could get in a, a Vietnam situation where we could add more and more troops. Uh, they have all said we're not going to add more troops. I think the key thing is we have to decide. We'll know. I think we'll know pretty much by December how things are going uh, right. and, uh, and what we should be doing. Okay. All right, Senator Ted Kaufman, we know you have to get to that hearing room yep. behind us. Your staff's going to kill us if we keep you any longer. <laughs> so thank you for your time. We appreciate it. All right. Thanks, and just to both Jack, update, thanks Savannah. Take care. Update him and uh, viewers. Uh, right now, Elena Kagan's being asked about various